What's going on everybody? Adivina que en esta ocasión no te voy a enseñar a hacer trago. <risa> en esta ocasión te voy a enseñar a hacer un platillo con tofu totalmente diferente, ni te lo vas a imaginar. Ni te lo... Esto es para la gente que está intentando incorporar cosas veganas. For all my people that are trying to incorporate vegan food items into their diet, such as like tofu, but they might be like, oh my God, how is this possible? ¿Cómo lo puedo hacer rico? Te voy a enseñar sin más preámbulo, pero antes de eso, no podemos empezar este episodio sin un poquito de agua para el alma. Let's get started. It's going to be really easy. Lo voy a hacer cortito, right to the point. Let's get started. Let's go. Que rapidito vamos con las cosas para la lasaña. Súper fácil, obviamente, lasaña. Pero date cuenta que no tenga huevo ni lácteo, ¿ok? If you want to make it vegan. If you don't give a damn, then go ahead and buy whatever the fuck you want to buy. Ok, uh, we're gonna need nutritional yeast, esto es levadura nutricional, no te voy a explicar porque ya muchas veces si me sigues en redes sociales, you know what the fuck it is. Uh, tenemos, acá está, tomato basil marinara sauce, pasta sauce, acuérdate lo mismo, it better not say milk or eggs, sometimes they throw in eggs, I don't know what the fuck, it's just weird, it's just if you want to make it vegan, Make sure you read the label, que sea vegano, que no tenga de, derivados animal. Vamos a tener obviamente un poquito de tomate. Eh, we're gonna get some garlic in there. Uh, vegan mozzarella. You can't, this is optional. You don't have to, I'm about to show you a vegan sauce that is so easy to make. Esa, esa, esa salsa que te voy a enseñar, le rompe a cualquier ricota eh, queso que no sea vegano. Te lo puedo asegurar. Cebolla, cebolla. Eh, no tiene que ser la roja pues, o la morada, la que sea, cebolla normal. Y si te gusta el morrón, un poquito de morrón. That is it, that's basically it. Alright guys, for meat substitute for the lasagna, I'm going to be using this Boca brand. This is the best brand for me. I don't give a damn if you have another one or if you don't want to make it vegan, you want to make, you want to put some real meat in it, whatever, hey man, whatever, it's, it's your body, man, whatever you want to do, but if you're doing the recipe, go ahead and try it, you're not going to regret it, you're not going to regret it, it's really low in saturated fats that other brands have and, you know, it's pretty much the same, it tastes pretty good compared to the other ones and it's really cheap, you can get it even at Walmart, so we're going to get this. block a little bit over half a block of uh, tofu uh, it can be any kind it can be soft firm whatever tofu is tofu so for this you're gonna blend it so it doesn't matter then add some salt to it un poquito de sal la que tengas no importa okay you're gonna need this nutritional, nutritional yeast you're gonna need this nutritional yeast levadura nutricional okay 
le vas a poner bastante porque esto es lo que le va a dar un buen sabor. Vas a necesitar cebolla, ok? Put it in there. And then if you have some garlic, that will be great because garlic is always great. If you don't like garlic, then it's optional. You don't have to put garlic. So I'm running out of garlic. So I'm just gonna put everything I got left in you it. Got coconut milk, almond milk, soy milk, whatever you got in the fridge, put in there about that much mira boom everything goes in together you mix it you blend it y luego debería debería de quedar así all right so if you blend it it should look like this como una crema entre una crema y algo medio viscoso like it shouldn't be too runny okay this is how the layers should look okay sheets boom then Pastas, um, uh, meat substitute with the sauce, sauce all together. And then do the vegan cheese, okay, sauce, white sauce, y luego el queso. Si tienes queso, perfecto. Si no, it's okay. Go back to the, to the sheets, okay? After this, it should be another layer and another layer. Playing with me, man. You guys play too much, bro. Mira, tú esa. Hey. Señor de la madre. Míralo. Okay, after this, it goes to the oven right away. Así nomás. Boom. Put that baby in. 15 minutes. 15 minutos. It depends on your old ass oven, of course. You can go 15, 20 minutes. You decide. Go check on it. Que esté el queso gratinado. Escucha. Oh. Compare. Oh. Permiso. Salud, compadre. Oh. Salud. Mm. All right, y'all. So, I took out the lasagna after about 15 minutes. Y así se ve. This is how it, 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 you know, the, the edges might be a little crunchy, which I like. You don't have to. I mean, when you start seeing that they get a little crunchy, then you can take a, take the lasagna out. But I really enjoy the crunchy part. So if you like this recipe, <laughs> let me know if you like this. If you're going to, uh, you know, give it a try. Si te gustó la receta, si le vas a dar, ahora sí que un chancecito y la vas a probar. Then you can just... Bake it for yourself and eat it by yourself. That's it. I'm about to show you how it looks when you cut it open, baby. I was going to end the video like that, but me dijo Lucia, you should do it like me trying to see it. I try my things all day, bro. Look here. Stop playing. Stop playing. Hey, Amen. No, I see nada. Bye. Go try it. It's really good. So, I hope you like this video. If you like it, let me know. Si lo haces, también. Mándame una foto o algo. It's really good. Ciao.